So reading logs. Configuration Manager has so many logs, but reading those logs are not a easy task. So if I open a couple of logs here, I'm going to the location I installed Configuration Manager, in this case on the D drive, Configuration Manager, and there is a subfolder called logs. The logs depends on where they where the server is, and I will show you later where we can actually find those. But in any case, here on the configuration manager, there is a loads of logs. Right now we have 105 files. If I open one of those logs in Notepad, you can see here that it's quite difficult to read because there is data, but there is also extra information. And when you compare with other logs, for example, let me just open another one here. It is difficult to see what is a problem, what is not a problem, what is component, and I need to be able to, what time as well, but I also need to close and reopen all the time there are changes. So Microsoft thought about this and created a tool that used to be called SMS Trace and now it's CM Trace. That is in the installation folder, Tools, and we have here the CM Trace. What I like to do is copy this software elsewhere and normally I put inside C Windows. So it's quite simple for me to just type CM Trace and automatically open. So what I'm going to do now is just open CM Trace. Double click on the file or just type same trace because I copy on the C windows. And here I have now the software. I'm going to open exactly the same log I opened before and I'm going to put them side by side shortly. So let me go on the disk MGR and I'm going to open also the disk MGR. So the location I have the logs and I have here the disk MGR. So quite simple, open, and let me now put them side by side. On the configuration manager side, you can see uh, on the right hand side, I can see here on the top SMS executive. Exactly the same here. But thing is we can actually see there is extra column on the top and also those columns are here on the bottom. And those are these extra texts that we have here, for example, date and time, component, thread, and source that I also have in every single one of the lines, as you can see here. Also, this is a tool that gives me extra features. So let me just close this log and I will reopen this log. I'm going to file, open, and I have this option here, ignore existing lines. So basically what it does is it just ignore what is there and it gives you a empty at the beginning and any new thing appears will be added there. Also, I can open multiple logs at same time. When I open, for example, you just choose about three logs here. I use the option merge and then we just remove the ignore. So I'm putting all those three logs together. And you can see here, it will order by, for example, date and time, but I can see that they are come from different logs. The first line from one log, the second line from another log that is a different component, and then from another log, then go back to the first one because they are dating time. Um, you know, being sorted by date and time. And you can see the information here is also being populated. Doesn't matter what line I get, I still get exactly the same information. Um, also, I can do a couple of things that I am not able to do on Notepad. For example, I can actually highlight a text. For example, I'm going to put here in process device and click enter. So what we can see here now is if every time we find that line, 
we can see that line is in yellow. But I also can see there are yellows and reds with something is not quite right. Anything that appears in yellow contains the word warning or warn. So that gives you a visual indication that something is off. If there is error, fail will be in red. So it's quite easy to see if there is a problem or not. For example, here, fail to get uh, the connector certificate. I don't know exactly uh, what was happening at that time, but I know that mm, if I'm troubleshooting this problem right now, what exactly this mean? So I could see, uh, could be just nothing or could see, or could be a problem. And you can see here all the options I put there, all the in-process device, they are also in yellow. And I, of course, can remove that highlight quite easily just clicking there. Also, I can do filter. If I want to filter everything that's happened based on text, the component, thread, and dating time, I can also do that. For example, I'm going to put here filter for if the text contains them the in process device. So you can see here now I'm just seeing that specific line out of everything is just removed. And of course to remove, I just go back to filter and remove the filter. It will actually load the whole log. And if there are problems, for example, if we go back where the problems were at the beginning, let's see if we have some errors. No, we don't have errors on those. Um, but I can actually look up for errors. For example, let's assume error number five. So I don't know exactly what the error number five. You can come here to error lookup and point the number five and look up. It will tell you what the error means. In this case, access denied. So we know exactly what uh, we need to look at. Let's say if error two, the file does not exist, but could be also 0x807342. I don't know what this is. I can click look up. If the error does not exist, it will give a error not found. If it does, let's put 0005, I think it is. No, 405, I guess. It will give you a text that what the problem may be. I will try to find a error uh, shortly to show you. But one of the features I do love about is automatically refresh itself. So I'm going to open again the same trace and I'm going to open a log called SMS prov and I'm going to put here ignore existing lines because I don't want to see what existed before. I want to see from this point forward. And now let me put the side by side with the console. Any changes or any location I change on the console, it will show me here on the right hand side what exactly is happening. And you can see the log is automatically refreshing itself. I don't need to close, open, close, open to try to see new data. But sometimes this is not great. What I can do is I can use the pause button here. And if I go to another location, for example, device collections, you can see here it did not refresh. Also, every time there is a refresh, let me go back all oh, the last line, you can see here is going and the cursor is going to be always the last line. If I go one line before that, and you click elsewhere, you can see it's not going with the flow. So I can actually see what exactly is happening from that point, every single line, I don't need to try to go back. So this gives me a much better idea of what is happening and I can actually try to troubleshoot or look at the logs exactly what is happening. So this is a big log, there is a lot of things happening. But this is quite simple. I don't need to open, close, open, close, and try to figure out what is happening. Also, like again, I can put multiple logs together 
and I'm going to open here a couple of other logs. For example, I don't know, I'm just picking some logs random. I will put them together. I can ignore the lines and so on. And I'm going to open another couple of lo uh, logs and I can actually put them uh, in cascade, tied to horizontal or vertical, and I can see all the logs at the same time. So if we are doing something where we need to look at multiple set of logs, maybe we could merge them, and maybe you can just look at them one by one to see exactly what is happening. So this is quite a simple way, or a simple explanation what the logs are, where we can actually see properly. As soon as we start looking at other things, we are going to start using the same trace a lot more often. And of course, this is day-to-day -day troubleshooting, reading logs. The last thing I want to show you here is the documentation. So the same trace is found in different locations. So this is where you install the configuration manager. There is a tools folder. Also, there is the inside the cd.latest SMS setup tools folder. If you are in a uh, configuration manager client, it will be on the C Windows C CM CM trace. If you are doing a OS deployment, it's going to be on the X drive SMS being X64 CM trace or X86 if you are doing a 32 bit uh, deployment. But it's quite simple. It, this um, uh, documentation, same trace, does explain exactly how the same trace works. And yes, of course, there is a, some extra pieces and bits here on how to read the logs. So before you go and wait for the next video, I just want to remind you, just please like the video if you have liked, um, share with your friends and co works And if it's a, something new for you, you never heard of same trace or SMS trace, just share with them, say, oh, this is a new feature that I really like and never heard. Um, if you have any questions, leave on the comments below. If it's a question, not a comment, remember to use the hashtag AskRafael. And if you haven't been subscribed yet to the channel, remember to subscribe and click that little bell icon so you will never miss any of our content. Hope to see you on the next video and we talk later.